In this video, we will discuss in four sections the benefits and the configuration of Azure Hibernation in conjunction with Citrix DAS. Part 1. What are the benefits? Three main benefits arise. First benefit. The end-user experience increases as the virtual machine and all its applications are much faster available. A hibernated machine resumes 36% faster. In this example, we measured the startup time out of hibernation with 66 seconds and out of the stopped state with 96 seconds. Second benefit. The users can resume their work where they left off prior to hibernation. There is no need to start all the programs again to continue to work. Third benefit. There is no additional cost at all. The cost is the same as with a completely stopped, deallocated machine. Part 2. What is hibernation? Hibernation allows you to pause virtual machines that are not used and save on computing costs. When hibernating the memory contents of the virtual machine is written onto the operating system disk and the virtual machine is deallocated. When the virtual machine is started again, the memory contents are transferred from the operating system disk back into memory. All applications and processes that were previously running on your virtual machine resume from the state prior to hibernation. Let's look how a hibernation functionality is enabled on Azure Portal. On the Citrix Cloud side, we have to switch on preview features. If all prerequisites are met, we can start to create a machine catalog with hibernation support. For all prerequisites and limitations, take a look at the TechZone guide. A complete guide for configuration and creation using PowerShell scripts or REST API calls can also be found on the TechZone. Part 3. After successfully creating the machine catalog and the delivery group, we configure Citrix AutoScale, which plays a vital role in the automation of starting and hibernating the virtual machines. Defining the peak times in the schedule determine how many virtual machines are, are automatically started at the chosen time slots. Configuring a peak time schedule based on normal work hours maximizes the user experience as enough machines are already available when the users usually start to work and also reduces the cost by putting the machines into hibernation when they are not used at all or not used anymore because normal work time has ended. The power policies are responsible for the automatism behind starting and hibernation of the virtual machines. By defining the policies, you can determine what actions will be taken after logging off or disconnecting a session. 
These actions will be taken after a configurable waiting time. Part 4. After configuring all relevant features, let's look how hibernation of the virtual machine looks like from an end-user perspective. Now the VM is successfully hibernated. Let's start the VM. Starting the VM can be achieved by the user clicking the desktop icon in the Workspace app or automatically through the Autoscale Peak Time Schedule. After starting the virtual machine, you can see that the user is able to resume his work where he left off prior to hibernation. 